going to Paris for a rehearsal to make a concert in Lebanon, in Beirut uh, Music and Art Festival at 2011. And then I uh, just stayed in Paris just by coincidence. But because I felt like I need to do something and I didn't have the space to make it in Syria. And uh, plus I've always wanted to make the study, to, to study piano and jazz and to go more into my music. So everything just happened in more like a coincidence and I found myself living in Paris. So in the Middle East we're more dependent, um, we're more spoiled. Uh, we're always surrounded by our families, by our connections, by our friends. So even with the music it was, um, it was easier. But in Europe it's totally different, especially in France. So uh, I had the time to discover the real musician behind the singer. It wasn't only about singing, but it was more about expressing what I do feel for the moment. And especially with everything was going on in Syria and still going on in Syria. And being Armenian, it wasn't ever easy because when you're Armenian then you live in your own space, you live the diaspora all the time. And uh, with uh, moving out from Syria, it was like living my second diaspora and living the history for the second time. Our history and our songs and our cultures as an Armenians teach us how to how to deal with uh, with with war, with fights, with genocides, with with all the pain. So I felt like what I have to do now is working on my Armenian values but in the Arabic way so uh, I, I started just expressing myself as a singer and also as a composer so for the first time in my life I was composing my own songs and uh, I added a lot of Armenian values on the songs like the survival art like um, the hope in the end, like the relationship with the country and with earth and this this um, feeling when, when you're always missing your own country. to compose, to write lyrics, to feel and uh, to, to study and to sing and to produce and to arrange and I have the time to do what I'm feeling like uh, not only in the traditional music but also to, to write my own songs. Um, I always felt like there is something I want to say with my voice even without lyrics. I always felt like there is a places in my voice and if anyone else is going to make the music from me, he will never know how to go there or how to think about these notes because musicians usually they usually the people who arrange and compose they are the musicians and they are the majority of them they are men. So uh, they they think more as as musicians as instrument players but for the singers it's different and I know very very well my voice and I have a big voice so and I love to improvise even in my life <laughs> I'm not really so organized person I love to improvise improvisation is my main character in the life so um, I wanted to add this value to my music I wanted to to play to fly to to be more free so it was nice to compose my music and to arrange the music because I know where I want to go with my voice. I know how to fly and I know how to go back and to go high. And so um, that was important for me. That yeah, you know, that, that that told me a lot. Actually, that made me discover much more about my voice and my personality and my music. And I'm glad that people noticed 
the difference between my old albums and my new album and a lot of people they came and told me that your voice has really changed and actually it doesn't change it's just the music that I'm making now it's my imagination and my my uh, my point of view of the music The name of the album is uh, Ghazl al Banat in Arabic, which means uh, cotton candy. I wrote this, this album for the little girl inside me because I'm so faithful for her because she, she keep inspiring me, keep pushing me to, to new challenges, to, to try new things, to never give up even when I'm so tired. I was happy. I was glad to, to have the title, but I felt, I felt also so responsible to continue working and, um, and doing more actually for the art of society and now I have to do even more for my country and for the goals and for the people, basically for the people inside Syria and outside Syria. an Armenian album. Um, I am in love with Armenian music. I always have been in love with this music and I'll always be. Every time I hear a new Armenian song, it's like it, it just go directly and touch my heart and touch my soul and it's I feel it so strong in my blood. So one of my dreams is to uh, record and work on Armenian songs. I'm composing all the time, I'm practicing, I'm working on my piano skills. Uh, I never know what to do next. Maybe I'm going to start acting. I don't know, but for sure there is something new I'm going to do and I'm going to enjoy doing it. <laughs> <laughs> 